as requested, I am showing you guys my studio shop tour. I haven't done this video before and you've guys been asking for it. So here we go. I'm just gonna just take you through a quick run through of the shop, share some of the tools I use, maybe give you some tips and just show you around. So as we come over here, this is my actual second desk that I work from. And you've probably caught my video over the dust collector right here, the tabletop dust collector. This is the PSI Woodworking DC 725. You can just open up the flaps right here, which are the barn doors. And this is excellent for when you're power carving. I cannot believe I waited so long to get one of these. I should have, because I mean, obviously, I'm in technically a living room of a house right now, but you know what? I mean, you gotta start somewhere. Some people start in their garage. Um, some people start on their back porch where I started. I moved in here since I started doing YouTube because it's a lot cooler in the middle of Arkansas heat. So I don't feel like carving in 105 degree weather. So as we go over here, I have my iPad. This is one of the tools I use all the time. And I'll tell you why. I'll listen to YouTube videos and I listen to podcasts all day long. Use hearing protection. I put this on and I will roll with podcast all day. I am a super nerd when it comes to learning. I absolutely love learning. So uh, when I'm not carving, that's what I'm doing. I'm working on something else for learning. As you go over here, you can see my wood panel walls that we put up and my shelves. You know, every YouTuber, I mean, they kind of nerd out on their studios. So I had to do something to look cool, you know, right? Oh, and let me show you this. You, if you keep up with my Instagram, by the way, you can follow me here. I will have all the social links below. This right here is a tomahawk a spot tomahawk I modified. I have about 80 hours into this. And this was inspired from a cross in Ireland in a graveyard. So, or no, excuse me, I think at a church in Ireland. I can't exactly remember. This is my longest carving at about around 80 hours. So anyway, it just, um, I was gonna sell this and I thought, no, I'm gonna keep this because um, I'll, I'm not sure if I'll do another one like it. I wanna show you some of my tools and things that I'm working on. Right here is some custom hawks. And yes, I do get a lot of questions. I do sell these. These are some I'm making for a gentleman out of Florida. And so these are turning out really nice. So I get a lot of questions on the tools I use. Now I'm gonna tell you something. The tool that you have is the tool that is the best to use. So the ones that you see here, I use all the time because I'm obviously carving for hours a day. So the first one right here is the Dremel light. And by the way, this video is not sponsored. I've had some videos sponsored before by Dremel. This one's not sponsored. Um, I do recommend them because they are a great brand and I really believe in them. So um, the first one's the Dremel light and you can see the little standing drum. I usually just keep this in here to work on stuff because it's very convenient having that. The second tool I use right here is called a micro motor. This is a Marathon 3. And let me tell you guys a secret. I'm gonna probably make some enemies here online, but I don't care because I want you guys to save money. If you go and purchase these things, you can get this on eBay for right around $60, 60 to $70. Some people put their own name on this and upsell it for 150. It's just the name of the game. These are, um, it comes with a little hand piece right here and this goes up and I did not have it plugged in. I forgot to plug it in, which is all right. It goes really fast and it is, uh, pretty quiet. So I use this for fine detail work. You can catch my last video where I made this little thing right here out of cedar and I use the micro motor for the detail. So anyway, if you have some extra money laying around, I suggest picking one of those up. And you guys know if you've been following me how I love the Dremel Stylo. Speed dials right here and it just goes I think down to 5,000 up to 22. I can't even remember how fast it goes anymore, I have to look. Uh, but anyway, this is a great little detail tool. If you keep your demands reasonable, you can use this. Sometimes I use it on the hard hickory right here, but I keep my demands reasonable. I just don't wanna just dig down in there with this little bitty tool because I'll burn the motor out. Let's skip over the wood burner. I wanna show you my Fordham right here, if you can get a shot of that. This is the big boy. And I also have a Dremel 40 Flex that's like this. Now what's so great about the Fordham, which I get so many questions over this, this is probably the king of the flex shaft carving tools, simply because I can take this out and exchange it with another 
handpiece. So when you keep trying to change bits and everything, it gets time consuming. I can just put in a new handpiece right here. Uh, it's hard to beat the Fordham because it is such a workhorse. The big motor in here, I, I wanna show you this. Here's the Dremel 3000, which I've used for years. And I still use this a lot more than my Fordham on some occasions. Look at the two motor sizes. Obviously this is gonna be a little bit more horsepower. Imagine you have a car versus a four wheel drive truck. The Fordham is a four wheel drive truck that will get you out of the mud. It has a lot of power in the lower RPMs. It's just a workhorse all the way through. One thing I do like about the Fordham is that you can put a one fourth bit in here and you can just see how just big that sucker is. Um, this thing will remove a lot of wood. So that's one thing that I like. Now I wanna give you guys a tip right here. You see these little gel silica packets. I throw these in my little tool holders. That way it just helps keep moisture out. So don't throw those away. I have my little spinning burr holder that I use quite often. A lot of people ask me, Matt, what is the best wood burner? And of course you know my answer is the one you have, but if you are gonna be using one every day like I am, I suggest the razor tip. They have been in business for years and this is far superior to any brand that uh, you will come across. And they aren't paying me to say that, I'm just telling you as it is. I have used this thing for hours on end and it has been worth every single cent of money I spent on it. And of course I have my big YouTube lot right here. I couldn't be a YouTuber without it. As we come to the other side of the room, we have my treadmill and I try to walk on this daily, keyword try, because I'm always sitting down working, editing, carving, doing something. I need to do a video over this. This is a vinyl cutter. I use this for a lot of stenciling and such. And pardon the mess here. Like I said, it's a workstation. I use this daily. And over here, we have my computer set up and I use this to edit usually daily because I, a part of my other business, I'm a wedding videographer. In fact, my other shooter's behind the camera right now. My helper's over there with the lights. We shoot wedding videos and we do commercial videos, real estate videos. And so that's my other part of my business that I have outside of the carving that you guys normally see. I'm also an audio engineer and I edit podcasts. So um, I have my hands into a lot of things, but here's where all the editing happens. Uh, I got a larger screen right here for all you techie guys out there because if I need to bring up a YouTube video or something, I can edit on a nice large screen because some of the videos that you guys watch, I spend from the time I film these things to editing, I get up there to 30, 40, and 50 hours of for a 12 minute YouTube video. Some of that may have been the way I try to articulate and teach and everything, but hey, we're all a work in progress, right? Here you go, guys, as you have requested a raw behind the scenes walkthrough. This is my setup, my tools I use. If you guys would like to purchase any of the tools and everything, I usually have a lot of people asking me about them. You can find them in the links below in the description and the comments. These are affiliate links, meaning that I'll get usually a few cents or so on the dollar, but every bit helps out and I really appreciate you watching the video. And if you have any questions, leave them below. I would love to hear the tools you use, or if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them below. So thank you guys so much, appreciate you, and I will see you in the next video.